Hi, in this video we are going to see how to configure REB611 ABB relay. REB is used as a bus bar differential relay. REB611 is a high impedance differential relay. Let me see the CT connection. All bus bar differential CTs are connected in parallel and is given to the relay. With this one linear resistor is connected series with the relay and one non-linear resistor is connected parallel to the relay. Like this for three phases we will have this setup. Next we will see the binary output and input. If you see the binary output we have a two output one is bus bar differential which should be configured on PO01 card X100 and second output is CB trip on fault it should be configured on P03 card X100 and we have one binary input that is 86 operator or CB trip which is coming into the X10 binary input 1 we are going to configure bus bar differential and this schematic let me see the settings of the relay the CT ratio of the relay is 2000 bar 1 amps CT superation is 15 percentage alarm delay is 1 second Hi. let me go into the relay configuration First we start with configuration of disturbance recorder. If you see in disturbance, we have to on the disturbance recorder and the operating mode should be overwrite. If you keep saturate, it will be stop at 32 sample of recording. After that it will not stored. If you go for overwrite, it will store 32. If again any fault comes, the older record will be deleted, new record will be added automatically. So override will be the best. And for this disturbance, we have to own all analog values because we need to see what are the current value we got at the time of tripping. If we go for binary channel, if in this binary channel we can see here the channel id takes binary channel 1 is actually a differential start i hip is differential start i div i impedant differential start it is it has to be on and the traveling la level must be positive or rise both any because it is um, a soft signal it will rise so you have to choose this this is for one for our face like this we have to choose for three phases and if your relay is having a earth fault you can select this here we don't use the earth fault protection Bi binary channel 6 is for differential trip operated definitely we should have used this and then if you see yeah this is a breaker failure protection this sh you should have and this is EZ HZ is your uh, CT supervision we should have this supervision because at what point yeah if you get supervision it will be noted in this disturbance recorder if you see any other if you have any other I think this is enough and we can go for external trip 
yeah disturbance record it is this much is sufficient if you have any communication settings you can upload over here and this is a master trip master trip 1 and master trip 2 we have to on master trip 1 that tripping output if you put unlatch when the fault when the fault when the fault vanish the trip will be automatically reset if you go for latching then even though the fault latch fault even though the fault rectify we have to reset by ourselves condition monitoring in condition monitoring we will have a TCS protection and another one important is HZ CC is CT suppression the CT suppression must be on and according to our setting it is 15 percentage and that is one second so we have to make thousand same way this is a b c means a face b face and c face making settings for all three faces after making these settings we will go to analog input our differential CT is 2500 amps bar 1 accordingly we set it and another one important is differential settings our differential settings for a phase that is r phase our differential operating is 50 percentage same way for b it is 50 percentage same way for c it is 50 percentage this is all very easy where anyone can do this but the final one is conferring the output and input LED this is a different in this relay here we since we don't have a application configuration we have to configure the output and input by just enabling and disabling over here this generic logic where we are going to configure our relay this is our important part of the relay if you see iswg this iswg is a blocking if you want to block your differential by binary input we have to configure here it is if you connect here it will be blocked it will the input if you have any block it will be blocking over here but uh, for my configuration here I am not having block so I am not con I am not conferring this block and second one is goose blocking this will block we receive by goose this also I am not having so I am going to next one next one is goose, goose block CB this one also I am not using so I am going next next is master trip master trip 1 and we will have master trip 2 so most for master trip 1 HIAPD this is uh, nothing but differential on R phase B phase C phase that is R phase Y phase B phase so for master trip 1 I am going to connect all these three so this all these three will be now in R gate with 
this MOS master trip. So for this master trip, I have configured the three phases differential. And for master trip two, I am going to configure this CB failure because according to our logic so for that I am going to use this master trip 2 so I am making this over in master trip 2 and third one it's start for start first uh, you may have a doubt why I am doing all this at the end you may have a clear idea why I am selecting one by one this will be useful at the end for making LED input and outputs start one start one is just pick up ping so for this I am going to we can use a phase, R phase pickup, B Y phase pickup, B phase pickup. Anything you can, if you want, you can have it. I am going to make all three pickup in start one and in start two. I am not going to use anything. In start three, I am not going to use anything. Start four, I am not going use anything this is strip one for this strip one i'm going to use a face that is r face trip two i'm going to use b face trip three i'm going to use c face that is b face and next trip four trip four i'm not using anything now it is the alarm for this alarm we need to configure for mainly we have to go for CT supervision alarm because TCS also if you have TCS trip circuit supervision you can configure any one alarm we have alarm 2 in alarm 2 we have to configure CT suppression HZ CC is a CT suppression for the differential relay so this has to be configured and alarm 3 I am not going to configure anything alarm 4 also I am not doing anything alarm 5 I am not doing alarm 6 I am not doing now Yes, S E L G. This all very important. This S E L G is a binary input. First one is a binary input. Our binary input is eighty six operate, and we can use as a external trip also. No problem for this. It is a input one. So when the input one comes. The relay automatically sends external trip and it will give the trip put one we are getting so I am mapping with input one I am not having any input so I am not using if you have a CB open close input also you can map it over here next one it's used for trip circuit blocking here also we are not using this is, is for to map output the first one is map input the third one is map output our first output is our first output is just to trip the breaker for that we have to make I, IN1 this is IN1 is nothing but you have to check here IN1 description this is CB open one. The CB open one is nothing but master trip one. So when you want to select the master trip, I have configured the master trip, R phase, Y phase, B phase, differential trip. 
so when you configure this one it is nothing but a differential trip second I have not using any output third I am not using any port fourth I am not using any output and P03 P03 is here P03 I am using output as a CB trip that is breaker failure trip this one I was used as a master trip 2 that is nothing but CB open 2 if you see here the master trip 2 is CB failure this was I have configured I have mapped in PO3 if you want to trip just like if you want to go for off phase Y phase B phase individual dif uh, differential trip also you can here yeah, we can configure in trip 1 trip 2 trip 3 because in trip 1 we have configured R phase trip 2 Y B we can we can ma map it over here if you have a many output we can also do this the important thing is you mapping the output we have when we select this all in IN 1 and 2 corresponding description we have to see corresponding description will work the IN 1 we have to select here the corresponding description this corresponding description we have to map it before okay now we go to LED LED 1 just I am going to use if a differential start comes it has to indicate in LED 1 so in in start 1 in start 1 I have configured all three phase start so I can make it in LED 1 start 1 for LED 1 is start 1 is IN5 so I am going to map it on an IN5 for output 2 I am going for CT suppression CT suppression has to be sense so CT suppression where we con where we mapped in alarm 2 alarm 2 we mapped CT suppression so CT suppression alarm 2 alarm 2 is IN 14 second one I am going for CT suppression it is IN 14 third one I am I want to map for R phase trip so where is we map the R phase trip trip 1 we are made in R phase so same way trip 1 we have to check it is description 9 description 9 I am making that is nothing but R phase trip similarly for B phase it is trip 2 and C phase is trip 3 like this we have to map our bus power production relay and this MV, MVG is a goose send block here also we don't have application configuration even though we don't have by this it will send by making the data sheet we can able to uh, receive goose and we can able to send goose for this relay for this relay only the thing is it will not have a application configuration only in parameter we have to do all this thing after making this you can send it to relay and you can check the differential production it is working fine or not if you think this video is helpful for your friend you can share this video to your friend thank you for watching this video